Hello, my name is Daniela Gonzalez and I am Product Market Manager for Valves and Valve Terminals for Festa North America. And today I'm going to be showing how to disassemble a VTUX manifold. I will be highlighting some features and some new upgrades that we did to the manifold and just point out a couple of tips to show how easy it is to commission, how flexible and really um, suitable for all applications. If you want to watch a portion on the CPX APA being disassembled, stay tuned for part two. So we'll get started with the valves. So first of all, we can see here, in order to disassemble the valves, we're gonna take off these three screws. Um, and for that, we're gonna need an Allen key. So now, what you'll be able to see here is, uh, after taking off the end cap, so we can take the screws off, uh, just so they don't get in the way. Um, so after we've taken the end plate off, so you can see that, uh, of course, all the C all the channels are here. Uh, also, so this on the end plate, so on the end plate is where we will be controlling the pilot. So one of the nice features about all Festa valve manifolds is that the pilot is actually controlled from the manifold subbase, not from the valve. That means that if you ever want to change from internal pilot to external pilot, it's very easy to do in each manifold by just simply changing a few parts. In this case, what we're going to have to do is for the end plate, we would have to remove this plug and change it for fitting. And then in here, we will put a plug right here that will allow you to then change your pilot from internally piloted to externally piloted. So all you have to do is put the plug here, the, the channel path changes, and then you change this fitting, which is very easy. All you have to do is remove this clamp. And then by removing this clamp, you can then change this up. And as you remove this cartridge fitting, you would change this with a normal fitting and then you'll plumb this up. So in this case, we're gonna remain with our internally piloted manifold and we're gonna put the clamp back on. So one nice thing that we can see here is the cross channels. So with the VTUX, what we have done is we have created large cross channels here. So this allows for larger flows. Um, one of the things that we've optimized the valve is that one valve size can give you two different flows. That is controlled the sub with the sub base. So in here, as I'm taking this apart, you can see that these valves look a little bit different. This one is all together and this one has a gap. This one has a gap because the sub base is actually a little bit larger to accommodate for the larger fittings. This valve is the same size, but the sub base is all together because the fittings are smaller. So we have options of six millimeters or one quarter, one eighth, eight millimeters, uh, five sixteenths, all the different options. And it's just a matter of changing the sub base. So this really allows for a lot of optimization in the machine. You can have large, smaller valves with larger flows. So with this valve can flow up to 670 liters per minute. So we have here, this is the valve. So the seals are encapsulated in the sub base. So the sub base has some channels where the seal is going to stay in the groove. This really makes it for very good sealing and uh, it will allow you for uh, to have better flows. In this case, we have a, a sub base that has four, um, four valves, but you can also scale it up to one. So uh, we chose the, the four, and when you choose a four station, um, you're gonna get cost savings because it's less parts that you're working with, right? So those cost savings will translate directly to the machines that you're building. So uh, another nice thing and feature about this is the electronics. So if you want to scale up, like I said, you can scale up in, um, in sets of one or sets of four, and uh, all of the sub bases come with the electrical modules already included. So all you have to do is snap them together. You can see here, you snap this with this, and then they will connect. Uh, in this case, we have a three tie rod system, and then that will 
um, that will maintain all of the Val manifold together. The other thing that we'll show here is the, the silencer. So this is the pneumatic inter interface and you can have a silencer or a ducted exhaust like most options that you have. And the silencer is really easy to remove. All you have to do is push it here. It has a little clip. And so with the clip, you push the clip, you don't need any tools to remove it. And you can change this up if it were to um, get jammed up or clogged. And then in this path, you can see how if you needed a different type of exhaust that was not a silencer to atmosphere, but it was a ducted exhaust, this is where you would change that. And once again, you would just do it by changing this clip and changing the fitting itself. Now, one of the things that I want to show on the fittings is uh, this style of fitting is a newly designed fitting. So this is the NPQX fitting. And we've designed these cartridge fittings to have maximized flow. So uh, it's probably not really great to appreciate in the video, but you can see that the path is not blocked. Uh, most typical fittings have a, a smaller, uh, a smaller orifice on the inside than the outside. And this does too, but it's not so small on the, in the scale. So it really allows for high flows. What that means is that you can have really fast actuating valves and exhaust portions. So this is pretty much the VTUX in a nutshell. So you can see how easy it is to make changes, to take it apart and to put it back together. You just have to, you know, make sure that all your seals are lined up. And once again, all the seals have grooves. So everything stays in the groove. There's no pinch seals. Everything stays nice and neat in there. And then as you're putting this together, you just have to uh, click and then it clicks for the electronics. You know that you have a connection. You add your other sub base and then you're going to finish your manifold assembly. So making changes, adding valves, removing valves. It's a piece of cake with this manifold. So for more information and look for part two on the CBX APA portion and for more information, go to festo.com slash VTUX. Thanks.